So this is um, a story I, I've chosen to react to because I'm a parent and I have sons, I have daughters. And I've seen all sorts of things happen to children when they are in their teenage years. So this is the story of a teenage boy who strangled an older sister of his. Let me just quickly run through it and then I'll make the comments. If you're a parent, this is something you want to listen to. It happened in the USA. This 16 year old young man um, was trying to play video games on what's the name of this game Xbox or whatever they call it um, you see on your screen I'm taking screenshots from the platform I got it from I really don't want to read it out I just I'm just gonna summarize she um, he he was trying to play the video game um, and he found that the speed was slow or wasn't going quite well and he knew that maybe because it was the connection was being used by others in the home they were using the Wi-Fi so he decided to change the password on his own without considering that other people would need to have access to it so of course when he blocked he changed the password other people couldn't log on and so they came to him and said the mother confronted him and said ah, how could you do that blah, blah 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 you know the way it goes in the home and um you know apparently he he seemed from the looks of it he'd always been an aggressive person or always had anger issues because clearly he was already in the process of attacking the mother or at least getting aggressive with her and so the older sister stepped in which was the girl that got strangled eventually all right and um so there and i'm sure it's most likely that that was not the first time they were engaging in an altercation physically so that led to a physical altercation between the brother the boy the 16 year old and the older sister and he got her into a chokehold that's the understanding i have from the story now this is the aspect that you don't understand, understand that that's why i chose to react to it because i have my own opinion about this it is said that the brother the younger brother and the mother then began to plead with him to let her go to stop choking her this is where it really resonated with me this story and they said he held on to her refused to release her think how long did you take for you to strangle somebody till the person dies the person passes out and dies you know so he, go, he continues to hold her and i'm thinking to myself the younger brother and the mother were they shouting did they understand that they could run out and call neighbors did they think they could take something and hit him on the head for god's sake he was strangling there the boy's uh, brother and uh, sister and the woman's daughter okay his older sister all right and they were all there and it is said that they they kept pleading with him to release that idea i don't i don't know if you plead with somebody that's doing something that is clearly going to kill or lead to the death of somebody else you know to me it did not make sense it does not make sense till now all right so eventually by the time the police arrived somebody obviously called the police she had suffered she was already brain dead and then uh, by the time she was to the hospital she was pronounced dead then he was sentenced to life in prison but if you look at it this is clearly a case of somebody that has definitely a serious anger management problem for his age being a teen a teenager just at 16 not even approaching the age at which he would be allowed to leave home if at all he wanted to function as an adult i would say it was not the first time the looks of it, it was not the first time he was behaving like that and the question is in the entire story because this story was reportedly published in a, 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 a kind of a it's a book that somebody published a compilation of um, horrific in fact the title of the compilation of the horrific true crime stories it's a book on amazon.com the links to all this i'll put it in the description of this video so you'll be able to see it's not something i'm very happy to share but i think it's important for people to hear the message i'm about to pass on this here's my argument first of all like i said i do not understand why the mother and the younger brother did not think to hit him on the head with something for him to get off her two of them could have found a way to hold him by the neck pull him by the ear pour something on him to get him off her because strangling somebody is not something you joke with and clearly because they let it happen for too long they lost a loved one it didn't make sense now they lost two loved ones because the other guy is the, the boy is going to jail that's one thing the second question that came to my mind and i'm going to be showing you i'm going to comment it on comments that were made onto this post where i found it some people made some comments the only person the only one person made the comment relating to what i was looking for and that was the comment about the father i immediately saw that if in my mind i just said if there had been a man in that room even if not the father if there had been a male adult in that house there is no way that disaster would have happened so the question is this why was there no male adult okay maybe the person was at work but the entire story was told there was never a reference to a male adult at any point in time 
right let me review some of the comments uh, like i said i have the perspective that i was really keen to see if other people were kind of um, sensitive to so let's go into the comments okay the first one here that i that got my attention i chose to take a screenshot of it how could they not get him to release her i would be using everything that is at my disposal i would be grabbing lamps pots and pans a cast iron frying pan any and everything then uh then there were what two other family members that i mean basically what she's saying is she's actually speaking my mind i, I, I asked that question when i was uh, doing the original reaction it makes no sense but again i i see a re possible reason why they were like that in one of the other comments that was posted so let me go forward and show you that but i said sorry his mother and siblings only pleaded with him to release her question mark with exclamation mark i guess we know why she had to step in and why he was the way he was she was the only one with courage to stand up to him i agree it sounded like well, it seems as if they were so terrified of him already that they were frozen psychologically in fear did not want to probably invite his wrath on them if they tried to stop him and so were instead settling for the option of appealing to him i think that's what happened and so and then i think he had so intimidated them over a period of time that it was only the older sister that was able to handle him or tackle him now there's a possibility also that when he was younger and he showed all these negative attributes the older sister being bigger at that time was able to handle him and subdue him then over the years he had probably grown up you know that's what happened with the older sister but the younger brother the younger brother begins to get the testosterone boost and then begins to uh, um, develop muscle mass and he begins to overcome um develop more ability physically he becomes stronger than this, the older sister and that's what happens in every household we know we're not the same men are different from women females are different from males so over time he had developed of course i'm sure greater strength and he was able to subdue but that probably was not the dynamic initially when he was a younger boy so i think maybe she used to be the one to be able to save all of them from his um outburst and then now having grown up much bigger probably gained more strength um he was able to subdue and then they were all at a loss as to what to do I believe another that's another reason why yeah. but again you see what she says here i own several large cast iron skillets and my children son included know that they are an effective weapon and that i wouldn't hesitate to use it on anyone during doing bodily harm or threatening to harm anyone in my household i would knock my son over the head if he had his sister in a headlock in a heartbeat absolutely it's just but again like i said these people the other two seem to have been really frozen with fear and uh, they clearly were scared of him so uh, i guess uh, it does happen Okay, then some of the man haters are here. The usual nonsense, the misandries. You know, they look for every opportunity to rob all fathers and all men with the same brush. It makes no sense, but they do it anyway. So they are here to talk nonsense about all oh, fathers raping their daughters. Because somebody asked, where was the father? There, there, there's no mention of a father in that household. And if he had been there, there could have been a world of difference in terms of the outcome. All right, so we get all these um, funny people coming to talk about men negatively fathers negatively absentee fathers we're only talking we're only asking the question where was this father and nobody knows what kind of father it was and which was why i kept looking through the comments i was looking for something that would let me know if anybody was seeing what i saw potentially and then this guy came up with this comment and that's resonated with me perfectly sometimes the mother and he was saying um sometimes the mothers lie and push the fathers out of the house so they can enjoy financial benefits from the state especially so when the income the father brings in is less than money the government pays out to them if the father is, is out of the house i have seen two cases personally and this happens quite a bit there are so many videos i've watched on this i've read so much about it as well and so if the woman had pushed the man away then she removes the opportunity for the man to play to have a controlling influence in the lives of the young boys that are growing to men and during that phase a lot of bad things can happen if there's no guidance for the young young man you know and i believe that may have been responsible for this i mean even if the actual father was not there if there had been some other male figure in their lives he could have been able to play a role they could have called him up on phone or something i do not believe they had anyone like that that they could depend on or reach out to within a short time and that contributed to it so i mean that's just it so these comments i think were important for us to highlight the fact that if there was a man in the home that could have actually turned out this entire um, interaction could have turned out differently I believe this was one of the issues this was in america most likely she was a single mother how did she become a single mother what were the circumstances that led to her single motherhood we do not know but if i go by the stories that are most common in america from my work with these guys who are involved a lot in this um 
relationship issues and all of that all the um divorce court cases and things like that for what i know it's most likely that she broke up from the father of these kids and did not allow the man to influence the kids in the manner that will enable him to at least deal with the increased testosterone of the male child there's another video i watched my daughters recently an 18 year old boy young man that called the police on his mom and eventually he was one that got arrested but you need to have seen the video we watched it for about 20 minutes i and my two daughters and it was crazy to see the way the boy was so just he was just acting erratic that was clearly a young man that had not experienced the uh, self-restraint he had not learned self-restraint that would have been taught to him by a a male uh, father figure so he did not understand the importance of self-control and had been exposed to very little discipline that's what tends to happen in a single mother household they do not have the capacity to deal with a young boy that is growing into a man because the minute the testosterone begins to pump into the blood that boy goes out of control he's no longer the lovable little boy that she was pampering and turning against the husband or the, you know many times these ladies pushed away the man who is going to be the one that will be the controlling influence in the life of the young boy and by the time the boy begins to seek independence and begin to have this testosterone rush and wants to begin to assert himself she will not be able to deal with us the aggression that comes with that from the boy and so the boy will intimidate her that's typically what happens and it spirals out of control the boy that's why you see a lot of the kids from single mother household end up in jail and all that the statistics in america prove it so this story to me it's a uh, the, the crime is being looked at in isolation. I would say the bigger picture of it is that the family unit was not complete. In America, they've succeeded in using their social security system to break down the family unit. One of the people in the comments pointed out what I was saying, what I, what I had in mind. He actually said that his answer just fit exactly into my own thinking. And I, I believe that even if that may not be exactly the case in this particular instance, it is something that could have um, contributed to it. You know, so for me the message to parent any parent listening to this is that please invest time in helping your children with anger management when a child in fact when a human being does not know how to control his or her anger bad things will always happen and it is from childhood that you can teach a child how to do that and typically when children are growing up they do not understand the implications of not being able to control themselves that is when they need the feedback from the parents and the parents should be united in giving that feedback even if you are co-parenting even if you are no longer together be united in giving the feedback to that child it will give you all peace in the long run if the child does not kill his sibling or even you yourself the child will kill his or her own spouse anybody with anger management control is a time bomb waiting to happen to explode it's a disaster waiting to happen it's just a matter of time once a person does not have ability to control his or her anger that person is just a disaster walking on two feet and so we as parents need to invest time once because it's very easy to identify a person that has anger management problem will never be able to hide it the question is what do you do to help the person learn to manage it and that has to do with kind of feedback you give to the child but many of many of today's parents they don't even show the interest in doing that for a child and quite often with the broken home sis arrangement the females that tend to be in charge of the children and the male children in particular can be really 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 difficult to handle for the female for the mother so obviously ultimately what happens is that that child goes on into adulthood and becomes a full-blown adult with anger management issues and with all the energy he has all the strength he has as a man he can do a lot of damage to different people so hopefully um this can be a kind of a wake-up call to us for those of us who have kids if you can see any signs of um, unresolved anger issues in our children this is a potential indicator of what can happen i urge you to invest some time if you need help reach out to the relevant uh, agencies or authorities to help you maybe there's a program that the child can be exposed to maybe they can be involved in sports a place something that will enable them dissipate the excess energy and also learn self-control maybe that martial arts is a very good one it teaches a lot of self-discipline um, and restraint so that's another thing I, I believe can help involve the child in activities that will help him or her learn to deal with anger in a manner that is productive if not everybody will pay a price for that thing the child does the bad name is to bring to the family the reputation the pain and suffering the loss the grief it's just all bad energy so the best thing is let's manage it before it gets out of hand hope you find this useful i wish you well